Okay. Uh, thank you so much for for joining. We are always happy that uh, you guys will always be here. I think uh, we have a lot to to talk today, and so we want to stay very much on track to ensure that uh, we have all these things done the right way. Um, please, when you join, you share extensively. Let's have, uh, this is our regular show. And uh, we are very happy for all those of you who are joining. So today, there's a lot that is um, going on already. So as Ambazonians, we have to stay very focused, ensuring that our target is our target, uh, especially as uh, a lot of us have had a lot of anxiety the, the last uh, 24 hours. I know, you know, a lot of people were wondering and uh, saying to themselves, uh, but why they, they too much heat on social media? I think the answer is simple. And uh, it is part of the integral part of this revolution for us to have issues like this happening every now and then. Uh, it gives us the fortress and above all the determination because uh, according to what I want to understand is that everything happens, uh, the, things happen at particular times in this revolution to give us a, a redirection and to, you know, redirect our consciences and uh, pave our ideologies towards the supernatural gains and the aspiration of a revolution like ours that is ordained by God. And um, in the most sincere manner, I will seize this opportunity to uh, thank all Southern Cameroonians for their uh, enormous effort, uh, especially in your support uh, through live shows like this. Not everybody is opportune to come online, but I want to say that those who do the greatest work are those who stay back there, like you, pushing the buttons, the share buttons, the like buttons, and all of those on social media. Let me be very objective. Without you, this movement would have been long dead. I say this without trying to patronize you, or trying to make you feel important. I say this from the depth of my heart. Because if not for anything, we owe you the sincere gratitude. Uh, you know, because your resolve has been that particular ingredient that is pushing Ambazonia further. Uh, without saying too much that you already know, the Ambazonian independence movement has been a collection of drama in the form of soap operas and extensive tragic movies 
that can only be compared to Hotel Rwanda. The, we have also had moments in this movement or in this movement that has seemingly put us on the cinema hall as though we were watching Mr. Ibu and Sons. That is the mix we have in this revolution. And until we have that very predominant belief in the act of a revolution looking closely like a movie, we would have thought that the Ambazonian independence movement is a joke. It is not a joke because the back and forth and all the, some form of, uh, you know, left, right, center kind of movement, what I want to call pell movement on social media is the very essence of this independence movement. We wouldn't have had a very uh, smooth kind of, you know, movement and we wouldn't have called this an independence movement, especially at this age, this uh, computer age, without what we see every day on social media. Without said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all sincerely once more for your very impressive output. And as people of Ambazonia, you have shown your might in your resistance and determination to get to Boya amidst your frustrations. That is the greatest strength of the Ambazonian people that Mr. Bia has found so difficult in trying to destroy. Uh, my, my little suggestion is that always remember the phrase never say never. I think basically that is what should be your drive and the fundamental uh, principle why you stay in this revolution. Uh, in this very special live show, once we're going to have like 500 people watching live, which we're going to have in the next two or three, four minutes, I'm going to start with what we would want to call the five BTs that would help us to stop elections in Ambazonia. As you are aware, the major focus is on ballot boxes. But today, this platform will make four other serious proposals that would keep us on the targets. Elections would be on October 7th. And we want to seize, also seize this opportunity to appreciate the leaders who even though have come out with a unity declaration on the non-movement days, have only done that just on time, but have also failed to tell the people of Ambazonia where their 45,000 US dollars has gone to after the much talk about on social media and all the front and backward talks. That notwithstanding, the unit the unit three declaration on non-movement days has been much welcomed by Ambazonians from across the 13 counties. I must state here that it is very vital 
for all of us to understand that civility is reciprocated. You must march respect with respect. And in a movement like this, always ensure that your focus remains on the most essential thing that will push the revolution ahead. You must weigh the importance of your action vis-a-vis -vis 8 or 10 million people. If what you do will profit 9 of the 10 million people, my brother, do it wholeheartedly. If what you do will go contrary to the aspiration of this same 9 million people and only favor 1 million people, my brother, back off right away. You know, one of the most important things is the theory of public opinion. What exactly public opinion holds about a situation. You know, I see a lot of us fail to institute this particular aspect of public opinion holding to our beliefs in individual groups, holding in our principles to defend people, not Ambazonian. You know, today we want to be clear that we have a bigger target or the biggest target but we will not also move our, remove our eyes from those things that will derail our movement for independence. As for those who have decided to be basking in the euphoria of lies and sabotage, or who are coining conspiracy theories and dancing mafia dance on social media, I am going to say very wholeheartedly that they will be disappointed today. As a matter of fact, your strength depends on the truth you speak especially in the most challenging moments. I think that as babies, children, and as we grow up, we have lied a lot and lied over unnecessary things. But what is the essence lying on the lives of 8,000 Ambazonians who have gone before us, who sacrifice their blood for our independence? those who are still lying down there and whose dead bodies have been fed to the dogs, others who are lying helplessly in the bushes, dead, but yet whose corpses cannot be seen, those who have been dumped in nearby rivers, streams, and in nearby bushes, massacred by the Republic of Cameroon, those who have lost their homes, lost their loved ones, some have lost entire members of their families, yet others have lost their businesses and are refugees in cities, towns and villages in Nigeria, Ghana, and the Republic of Cameroon. There are others who would go for a day, two or three without food. They all look up to us all that one day we would have to serve Ambazonia. Yet, some of us have the opportunity to do that the right way and the right time, but we have vehemently refused because of our devilish attachments 
to groups, friends, and peers. It would interest you to know that the first destroyer of this revolution is your denier to speak the truth. Reason why, despite the hardest moment, and even when it seems you're going to make enemies with everybody, the truth only comes out, it gives you more fortress. It makes you fortified and it wins the hearts of many across the territory. Ambazonia is a free country like you all know, but a lot of people are still living in the illusion that this might not happen. Now, in one minute, we're going to start this show officially with the five beatings that will help us to stop elections in southern Cameroon. You know, Mr. Bia is interested particularly in those things that will keep him in power. And any wise person during a fight would pay attention to that place that hurts the opponent the most. If you are a player in the field or a coach and you notice that the left wing of your enemy is slow, lazy, and incompetent, you will pump in the best attackers towards that direction to supply all the goals for the success of your team. Like I would now say, uh, Mr. Bia wants elections to hold very desperately. And so Bia will do everything to ensure that elections will hold. And how can we stop, how can we effectively stop elections? How can we effectively stop elections? There is, we have four, go, five golden ways to stop these elections. What I call the five BTs. BT here is the five big targets that we as Ambazonians are going to use to stop these elections and put La Republic in total shame. As you are all aware, Mr. Bia is only interested at this moment in protecting ballot boxes because they, they are sure that that is the only way they are going to have these elections done successfully in our various counties. Of course, we know that the ballots are already long prepared in Yaoundé, and the only one to bring it to Ambazonia to consolidate their win and, of course, show otherwise to the international community. But today, we have five targets, big targets, that will help us stop elections in southern Cameroon. There are others that are already ongoing that we simply have to multiply our incentives towards those directions. Number one, big target, of course, naturally, there are ballot boxes that will be stationed in artificial and uh, criminal pulling stations across Ambazonia. And so restoration forces must take that initiative because all of these places will, of course, lack, uh, you know, the necessary and competent military backup. You go to those areas, you have to only get enough ballot boxes in various localities. You have to map it out. And when you get those ballot boxes, immediately declare that a referendum has been held in southern Cameroon and majority of the people following these ballot boxes have voted in favor of independence as was declared by Sisekwa Yoktabe, His Excellency Sisekwa Yoktabe Jilos on the 1st of October. So we have to use that opportunity to consolidate our independence. So we have to get down there to those ballot boxes and grab them up for our own personal use and announce that to the international communities or the international community through a video or videos from restoration forces in various angles 
where these ballot boxes will be stationed. So you should, you should, you should get to all these areas where we would be having these people coming down there with their ballot boxes. The military will not, will not be able to get to all those places. So you have to stay on the alert and ensure that all those interior villages and even some cities that will have less military backup will have to get these ballot boxes and make a first-hand announcement even before the declaration of the election results in Ambazonia. So this is the major target that we have to do. We have to get all these ballot boxes, come rain, come shine. And this is exactly what we hope and pray that the restoration forces will do. We will get those ballot boxes. We, it doesn't matter whether or not we get them in huge quantities, but we have to get some. And I trust restoration forces that we have taken necessary precautions to ensure that some of these ballot boxes are taken in this place. Those that you are unable to take successfully should be destroyed. And all videos of this destruction should be ensured that they are sent out there for the international community to know that there was an issue. Normally in elections, one, two, three or five ballot stations that are affected automatically would result to that election being null and void. So restoration forces, you have to be on the alert to ensure that that is exactly what is going to happen. Number two, Mr. Bia, as you are aware, the family of Paul Bia Bimvondo owns over 33% or more, or share, 33% of the shares of Brazzaris du Cameroon. Today, and just recently, over some TV stations in the Republic du Cameroon, the Brazzaris du Cameroon uh, representatives have been crying and asking the government of Mr. Bia to ensure that they arrange the issues with the local population of the South and Northwest regions because their business has been seriously affected. Now, you know, that is the wind that is leaking. And Bia Bimvondo has over 33% or more of the shares of Brazzaris du Cameroon. Now, this is the second big target, Brazzaris du Cameroon. Now, why other restoration forces, they will be concentrating on, they don't have enough manpower to spread it across. They will be concentrating on ensuring that uh, elections will take place and they want to concentrate some of their ill-trained terrorist soldiers around major ballot boxes or polling stations. We would also concentrate on Brazzaville warehouses. This is not something to be said secret. The reason why we're saying publicly is one of, this, is one of the strategies to ensure that that elections does not hold. If at all they intend to stretch their military force to these Brazzaville places, no problem. We have other, there are, there are five big targets that they will not be able to contain. And so the idea is to ensure that we stretch this military to the brim. And that's why we are giving them all the big targets, not in private, so that they should be aware of the things we're going to do. This is, these are preemptive measures, and it is important for anybody who knows that they deal in Brazzaville's product whether at your local level, in the village, or anywhere. In the, if you have a depot, whether in Ombe, Mutengene, Manfe, Ekondo Titi, anywhere that you have a depot, make sure that you put away the Brazzaville's crate. Because on that day of elections, restoration forces will be moving store after store, house after house, and depot after depot, checking on anything with the label or brand Brazzaville's. Any Brazzaville's product, Brazzaville's is contraband. And during these elections, we're going to seize the opportunity to ensure that we reinforce this particular big T, this big target of the Ambazonian independence movement, Brazzaville to Cameroon. We're going to introduce it and ensure that restoration forces will get down there and ensure that this particular product or products are sent out of the market. Because we have to stress, Mr. Bia, to the extent that he will not understand. All Brazzaville products, dealers in Brazzaville's product, we do not want to see Brazzaville in Ambazonia, especially, most especially, during this elections period. So that is a big assignment for restoration forces. Apart from taking ballot boxes, you also have that responsibility in your various localities to get to all those little areas where Brazzaville's products are kept. We have to ensure that no Brazzaville
risk product ever is ever seen anywhere around Ambazonia. If you see even vehicles that are written Brazzaville to Cameroon, 33 Export, Tubo, or whatever, please carry that vehicle immediately. That is the second big target. So they will be fighting to protect ballot boxes. They will also have a fight to deal with Brazzaville to Cameroon. So if you see Brazzaville's product, please, you, that, those products are contraband in Amazonia. And any Brazzaville's vehicle must be carried. Whether it is parked anywhere, make sure that you give Gary, put Gary behind those vehicles. They need to carry Gary back to Litora. So it is your responsibility to make sure that any vehicle having Brazzaville to Cameroon, any product Brazzaville to Cameroon, must be Gary. We do not want to see Brazzaville to Cameroon. It is banned and talk more during this election period. That is the second big target. Number three big target. Number three big target is Orange Cameroon. As you are all aware, Orange Cameroon, whatever form of orange, part of the shares are also owned by Bia Brenda and Bia Junior. Junior. Now, this is what we're going to do. While we are on ballot boxes and brasseries to Cameroon product, we're also going to extend to telecommunications installations of Orange Cameroon. We do not want Orange Cameroon is now officially banned in, in, in Amazonia. So restoration forces during this election period also concentrate their effort on Orange Cameroon antennas. That is a product of the Bias family and we must ensure that that particular product is carried. So the military should also go and protect Orange antennas in bushes and other places so that the restoration forces will not get there. Please, it is very important and for international concern, for the concern and the attention of the international communities or community, when you get down those orange antennas, when you put Gary on those orange antennas, also ensure that you make sure you get videos so that the world will see that during these elections, we were resisting 24-7. Orange antennas remain very important. Those are products of the Bia family. And Brenda and Bia Junior, they have their shares within Orange Cameroon. And so this particular Orange Cameroon must be guaranteed. If you see any person dealing in Orange Cameroon in Amazonia, make sure, please, this is a very important fact. We don't want to see Orange SIM cards. MTN is good for now because at least we need something to communicate. Nextel is good. But anything Orange from SIM cards, to where they do orange mobile money transfer, to do orange uh, credit transfer, anything orange, Cameroon, ensure that it is not in existence in Amazonia. During this election period, we are going to take this personal initiative to ensure that we stretch this military to the brain. They want to come to Amazonia, they think that they have only ballot boxes to take care during this product. We are going to ensure that we carry anything that is related to orange Cameroon. So please, Restoration Forces, take note. Orange antennas must be guaranteed. Those dealing in orange must, must stop dealing in orange or you get the products and guarantee the products. Orange SIM cards, money transfer through orange mobile money, whatever is orange. So please, if you are in Amazonia, start taking the initiative because Restoration Forces would have to check. Make sure that you do not use the orange SIM card. That should be the new law. Use only Nextel and MTN. For MTN, a lot of people are contemplating because of whatsoever, but we also have to think about the population. For now, we want to say that Orange is banned. Orange Cameroon is banned in Amazonia. If you see anything Orange in any of the 13 counties, please do not hesitate to guarantee that particular product. And if any of those persons who are in the command and control center of Orange Cameroon want to resist, also give them a bit of guarantee. That is law because now you know that we have to ensure that anything that gives power to the occupier is guaranteed. Though that is big target number three during these elections. Number four, homes of Elecam officials who move from their ballot boxes will come to the homes of Elecam officials. Now, already some people who are in charge of this election stuff in some counties have been identified. And they have then now in Amazonia to ensure that all of these 
gambit from Yaoundé will take place under their supervision. Let it be clear. Restoration forces, you have a duty to ensure that you give guarantee to any Elecam officer. Any Elecam officer still in southern Cameroons at this time, before 7th of October, that person should be guaranteed. Get that person. It is important, you know, this is one of the big targets. Excuse me. Anybody who is of elections Cameroon, what they call Elecam, that particular body is a personal non grata in Ambazona. Anybody who is with that particular particular body that wants to supervise elections in our counties should be carried immediately. Listen, don't give this person the complete Gary process. Give the person part of the Gary process. You can give the person Gary on the one of the hands. Let the person hold the Gary. So, restoration forces, when I say Gary on one of the hands, you know what I mean. This one, I have said it and that is what must be done because it's one of the targets that we must, we must, we must ensure that we get through. Enough is enough. Number five, newly appointed Jews. You people are aware that just recently on this platform, we have been consistent on ensuring that Jews don't go back to their posts of responsibility. We have ensured on this platform that the names of all Jews who are working, Ambazonian Jews who are working in the Republic, we ask them to resign. They refused, but they ran away. And this platform has healed or yielded fruits as far as this particular aspect is concerned. We took it as an initiative. We brought out the names of these Jews. We read their names here and we matched our words with action. Because if we were going to see them in Amazonia, we would have ensured that they are Gary. Good for them. They left. And now, because they had a standing order from the people of Amazonia through this platform, they never came back to their various offices. And now, they have been sacked. And that is what this platform wants. Now, they have appointed new Jews, mostly Anglophones. Ambazonians who have to go and replace Ambazonians. Why do you clap for them? Now, let me be clear. Let me go back I published a story on the National Terror official page. Let me read the names of some of these new Jews that will go, that will be in Amazonia following this presidential decree that was signed yesterday. I'll read the names. I want to read the names and I want to just emphasize. Let me go back to pull the story that we published because it is important for us to... <laughs> Let me go back. You know, some of these Jews think that we are joking. Let me just go to the story. And these Jews should listen. Now, yesterday was 19 September 2018. And uh, Mr. Bia came out with some new with some new with a kind of new decree. And that decree, all of these names, we read them in our live shows. You have in Donga, in Donga Mantung Division, or County, in the Northwest region, the Joe for Ako, Motia Daniel Jone, has been sacked and was replaced by Imbigno Abraham. You people should care, Mr. Abraham. Tell Mr. Abraham if he's related to you. Tell him that. He cannot go to Ambazonia. He cannot. He cannot. If he goes to Ambazonia, he will be garried. It should be made clearly to him that it is a no-go area. We will, we will ensure, we will ensure with our last strength that that installation or all those installations will not take place. Lokumbe uh, Nafongo Vincent who was Joe for Tinto, has also been sacked. He is not transferred, sacked and replaced by my good friend, Elibe Motombi Soli Jr. I was remaining with him. He was second assistant SGO. They have removed him now, sent him to Tinto. Let him know that friendship is not in this thing. Let him know it very clearly. If he's from Bakuri, now they have put all Bakuri children to die because Alem Moloka is Bakuri. Elibe. El 
uh, 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 is Bakui. He, he's, he's second assistant SGO for Manu. Now they have transferred him to Tinto. And then the other man of uh, Manfred Senka is Bakui. Uh, 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 Marafa Johnson. So all Bakui children die Manu. And want to tell you for something. That I am South Westerner. I'm, my, I'm your brother next door. But want to say that law, the law of the land is the law of the land. You should ever be happy that I am informing you before time. So my good friend, uh, uh, Elive, nice gentleman, very, very patriotic. Please, do not go to Tinto. I feel sorry for you that they are giving you this dual position only when Ambazonia is rotten and bad, ungovernable. It's a pity. Resign now and take your rightful place when we get this independence at last. Please, I will not say it again. All those of you who are watching me, tell my friend, I know you also be watching, tell my friend in Liber that he should not go to Tinto, that there is an ultimatum placed by the people of Ambazonia in that particular territory. Nobody, nobody is going to install that Joe. Now, the Joe from Ginicom in Boyo was also thrown away. Are Achare Obena. He was dismissed in favor of Akonjo Denis Mbono. Those are my brothers. Tell that particular Joe who wants to go to Njinikom. He's going to meet his other brother there, Manchan. Manchan is in Belo, in Boyo. Belo subdivision in Boyo. Tell that Joe that he cannot go to that place. Because restoration forces in Boyo will ensure that they will bring Gary there. We have said that we do not want Jews in our territories, and that is a fact. Ebay Wilson, Ebi, I want you to resign. Joe for the Kombe Bali, where you refuse. That was, that's his Indian division. Now he has been sacked and replaced by uh, 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 Tony Pai Judges, formerly Tech Assistant Senior Division Officer for Meme. Tell judges that Eric Tato, you can call me anywhere, that if he goes to the Kombe Bali, he will be carried. He will be carried because there is no way we are going to allow these Jews. That is the big target. So, restoration forces take the initiatives, ensure that you know these Jews, you know their places where they are before they will come in for this installation, get them and let them leave Amazonia. In uh, Alo, Hamdi Isaac, a Paneketa, has also been sacked in favor of Abang Fabian Ka, formerly assistant Joe Fondo. Tell the assistant Joe that <laughs> he is coming to Allah. So you can imagine how Mr. Bia hates you. Bia would leave you, remove you from air. In my, uh, this is the worst transfer in the history of war. That you remove somebody and brings the person to Red Dragon. Red Dragon. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Ambang Fabian Ka. You know what happens in the BLM. You don't, you don't need to be told. I am just being kind to inform you that it is not going to be easy. As for the new duos of Batibo, the duo of Batibo was already there. He was just maintained, although the presidential decree was not out because he left in Bengui, in Bengui and came down to Batibo to replace Dionamata. So he's still there. And you know what happened to Dionamata. I don't need to tell you the story of Dionamata. Now they have brought another person to come and replace the duo of Messager who died. So, messager, they, I mean, you people should just inform them that the issues about the issue about Jews is not a, is, 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 is not something that is discussed in Ambazonia. It's a taboo to, 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 to be in Ambazonia and say that you are a Jew. You, you, don't, you don't have any place. And so that is why we are, this, this, this platform is there to inform you. We are very good people. Ambazonians are very good people. So, we are, we are telling you before time to ensure that, please, pass this message to all these Jews. These duos will, will not be able to be installed anywhere. In fact, let me tell you something. Before the installation of these duos, something will happen in one of these particular subdivisions. You will see. Just wait. You will hear. Something will happen. Measures are already taken. We, are, we have already taken measures. But for now, anybody who knows any of these duos that have been replaced, they have sacked these ones, I'm asking them, and I'll continuously read the names of these Anglophone Jews. All these Anglophone Jews who are serving in Ambazonia, you have the time now enough to do the honorable thing and resign. But if you want to stay there, we will ensure that you stay well with enough Gary. Now, with that said, 
Let me get now, those are the five BTs. Let me get to the special BT that is going to happen. On the 7th of October, between the 6th and the 7th, the La Republic should concentrate in their various markets and other measures because we have already put in place this one is not a secret that should be kept. We are telling them to stretch their military that all major markets within the Republic of Cameroon will be guaranteed. So they should ensure that they transfer their military to go and protect their markets. This is the special BT, the biggest target, that the Republic of Cameroon should know that this particular thing that this platform preached many months ago, known as this particular thing that this platform preached many months ago, I don't want to probably mention it because they will start being they will start being frightened. They will start being frightened. But in fact, all of you know it's called ATM across the Mongo. We are going to ensure because this is war, it's not a romance. And like I told many people, there is no hate speech in war. We will ensure that the ATM is activated across the Mongo, of course. This ATM must be activated. For those who don't know, it is important for you all to warn anybody that, listen, when we say we do something, we do something. There will be enough gary in some of these markets across the Republic of Cameroon. If we decide not to do it, it will be at the discretion of those who have been dispatched. Let it be very clear that this is a new dawn in the independent movement of Amazon. I am, I am very clear, straight on this, and that is what is going to happen. All major markets in the Republic of Cameroon, get ready for Ambazonia. We have enough Gary to sell in those markets. We have Gary in, in gigantic proportions that will be sold in some of those markets. We will have to do the ATM major system in the Republic markets. We also take care of some petrol stations in the Republic of Cameroon. Let me be very clear. Do not worry about Total, Bokum, and the rest. All those ones are well taken care of. They are not amongst the biggest target for now. But as you are all aware, those are so, much, so many important things that the restoration forces are also taking into consideration. We have to ensure that ATM is activated in Douala, in Yaoundé, in Ebolova, in Bafusa, we have to ensure that we sell enough gary in some of these communities in the Republic of Cameroon. That is your responsibility. Restoration forces who are already within the Republic of Cameroon take it very important. This is a strategic obligation. The Republic of Cameroon should ensure that we, the people of Ambazonia, we have decided that it's going to be over the dead bodies of 10 million people shall we surrender. And that is an impossible fact. And since it remains impossible, the independence of Ambazonia is non-negotiable. It is, of course, the final bus stop as far as this movement is concerned. It's either independence or nothing. And so we are going to stretch the enemy right down there to the Mongols. As a matter of fact, a long time ago, we talked about ATM. And we are happy that despite the resistance that we received from some of our compatriots, Every single Ambazonia has come to agree with this platform that there is necessity to take this issue across the Mongol. It is now clear to me that the resolve and the determination of restoration forces to take this ATM to another level has finally, has finally come to fusion. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambazonians, we are very consistent in our belief and determination and that the Republic should know that they do not have monopoly of transferring this whole goddamn stupid and, you know, seeking war to Ambazonia. It is also our right as a people, as a nation, to defend ourselves. Now we will not longer stay on the line of, oh, we want to defend ourselves. Oh, they are killing us. That time has passed. This is war. And in war, you employ any strategy possible to get the occupier also inflicted with much pain. And so, wherever you are, Ambazonians, contribute your quarter to this movement by ensuring that whatever that is not of Ambazonian extraction should be guaranteed. It is your responsibility 
either as old, young, youthful, or whatever, man or woman, so long as you carry the blood of Amazonia and you think about the 8 million or, the 8 million or 10 million people, the 8,000 people who have been killed, please, Amazonians, it is your ultimate responsibility to ensure that during this election period, the Republic of Cameroon is stretched to the brim. That is the strategy we are going to use to stop elections. We cannot only concentrate on ballot boxes. We we'll also concentrate on these major targets. And some of those targets have been enumerated. There are others that have not been enumerated. And of course, you already know that all schools have shut down in Amazonia, which gives us the pride of place to announce to the international community the extent of insecurity that is going on in a country that was long independent since 1961. Ladies and gentlemen, it is your responsibility to ensure that this war is won, come rain, come shine. Now, to restoration forces. Some of you, you feel very tired. You think, oh, the world is coming to an end. Like those of you in Baba, whose scam uh, 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 has been attacked. Those in the corner and other places where the Republic has infiltrated and attacked our camps. I want to give you one word, one, one motion of support, that particular spirit of hope that this is war. And in war, there are many battles. Never say never. Whoever told you that those, some of those camps will not be destroyed? No. Some will be destroyed. Many more might be destroyed. But of course, what we are happy is that so long as our fighters are not being killed, it is now the responsibility of the Amazonian people to, of course, to, of course, take the challenge, take the challenge to support and replenish the camps of these restoration forces. Take, for example, the biggest restoration, one of the biggest restoration forces in Amazonia are those guys of Ekona after the Red Dragon. Probably they are the first because they are like four to five hundred. Now their camp has been destroyed and you read some garbage on social media talking about resignation. No, no soldier resigns at this time when you are defending your homeland. You cannot resign. We will start a fund drive for Fako County to replace the camp in Ekona. That camp will stay alive because that is the camp that will take us closest and probably take us to Boya. So, Amazonians, put your heads on the clock. Look your eyes, look at your eyes and focus to Boya. Ensure that we will start something. Dr. David Makongo and other people of the Fako County, Mola, uh, Wonja Wonja, we will start, national, we will start a, a fund drive on this platform only for Fako County. Fako County is already instituting VIAs and I am going to take the responsibility in my name as Eric Tato to start something that will go directly to the FACO account in order for these restoration forces in Ekona to come back to another secured and convenient place and with more sophisticated sugar canes and granites. We are going to ensure because that is our responsibility. Every war has battles. La Republic lost many battles during this course of the war, but they are yet to give up, even though they know that they are not, they, their fight is not legitimate. What about you, who is defending homeland? Whoever told you that in war, you will not have those who will be betraying people. You have read the American War of Independence. You know that there was a big general, captain, who betrayed during that American War of Independence. Let me tell you something. Whether from Belo to wherever that your camps have been infiltrated, we will rebuild new camps and we will fight till the end of independence. Let me tell you, you cannot give up, not, for, not on yourself, not on the 8,000 people who have died, not on the 10 million Amazonians who are looking glue to Boya, and not to the 250,000 refugees that are across, the, across Nigeria, not to the two, over 2 or 3 million that have been displaced all over the national territory, all over the 13 counties, and even parts in the Republic of Cameroon. Let me tell you, it must be your collective responsibility to support all these restoration forces. And we'll do it county by county. We will start with FACO. I also want to thank the people of, of Boyo who have also put in place their structures. I've talked with these people, and this brings me to a very important fact which troubles our revolution. This has given me the opportunity to name one of us based on very uncompromising judgment, not at all related to prejudice or any form of bias. And one of us has been named, given a special name. This lady is from Bafut. And I want this.
to go straight. Uh, in my last live video that I'm going to play, the last video that I did on Eric Tato Tano on this platform, thank you all, please, when you come, you share. This, uh, this is the most important thing. We will not, I think we have talked extensively, we'll come back to some of these issues. You know, in this last live video, we, 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 I, I want to play this video to the, it, I think I, I kept this particular part, is the um, 36th minute that I mentioned. Okay. I think it's here. Now, I'm going to play this video for just one minute. You listen to it. It's, this video is the video that I did uh, before this one on this platform that I mentioned a certain name. I want you to listen, and you listen to what this particular person said about things that I didn't say. And it is important that in this revolution, only the truth is going to set us free. I respect everybody, but like I say, I am one person who has a line that nobody can cross. Nobody, not my mother, not my wife. There is nobody who crosses that line. And that line is clear. Everybody who follows me knows that. And I want to make some clear points today before I go to the London saga. I'll play this. Listen attentively, my followers. Attack the calm. They destroyed the calm. But they didn't, they didn't get any of our fighters. We have spoken with some of the fighters on the ground, including the commander, who confirmed to us. And just to tell you that, our boys are very smart. Before you sell intelligence, a military man will also send intelligence to us. Listen. Listen very attentively. Bring everybody on board. Thank some of our people on the ground who sold out that intelligence, and before the military could get there, our boys have gone with the most valuable things, and they have going to relocate. Now, it gives a challenge to the people of Fako. Why we look at how our people are being massacred? Why we look at how our mothers are being raped, our villages are being burned? We have people who are running after five dollars on social media who are running after who is commander in this, commander in that, or who is in charge of this place, or who carried out this action. Let me tell you for the truth. It is going to stop with county by county because I want to first and foremost congratulate the people of FACO. I belong to the FACO was up uh, county by county self-defense uh, was up group. The people of Momo have also done theirs. Some of them will be calling today. I was trying to get to the people of Mezam through Mami Gera to brief us on some of the things that they have done with the uh, uh, Bafut 7 in Qatar. I said, I, I said there that I was trying to get to the people of Bafut of Bafu through Mami Gera. I was trying to get to the people. Now, Mami Gera came and said that Eric Tato said that he has spoken with her. I did not speak with her. And I never said that. You put listen to this audio. This is what she, she did. I think I'll have to replay this. Eric, Eric Tato. Just a minute. Eric, Eric. Uh, I think we have a little problem. I want you to listen to what this lady went and said in an audio. Eric Toto, or oh, Eric Toto, whatever you call yourself, I don't know you, I've never met you, this is my major speaking, I don't know you, I've never met you, I've never spoken to you, I don't want to, I don't wish to, even in my dream, in my deathbed, I never wish talking to you. I heard this out on Facebook yesterday, and you were calling my name, I'm trying to figure out what for you, Supreme Commander craziness, if the drunkenness and madness don't reach level way, you don't crazy, so they crazy, do you, you know, get no life line of thought anymore and then go asylum go checking yourself or do drink a malin die or something i'm warning you don't sit and call my name for any rubbish if you're mad go get on medication get yourself some medication and feel better and stop stop st and if you don't have if you don't have any bargain for the madness you created look for something stop calling people's name and don't sit on Facebook ever again and mention my name on any of their mad, mad live show, whatever you do. I swear, say, it's all crazy, really, do you here? Say, say you talk of me. When have I ever spoken to you? I wish not even share, I, I can't even share the same space with you because you're so disrespectful. 
you're out of this world disrespectful. I don't share spaces with disrespectful people like you. You going online and insulting people and acting like you're on some form of drugs. You know, Chase, I really want to affiliate myself with you. Be very careful with me. If you've tried people and nobody has ever, you don't want to pick a fight with me. Rubbish. Madman. Okay, thank you. That is Mami Gera, a woman who says she's supposed to, she's respectful and she doesn't share space with disrespectful people. Uh, you know, you listen to the video that I just played. I said that I was trying to get to the people of Bafu through Mami Gera, but I never said I spoke with her because I never spoke with her. Somebody gave me her number. I called because I wanted to find out a couple of things, but she didn't pick. And that's where it ended. Later on, we spoke and we spoke friendly and uh, she didn't tell me that she has done audios behind my back. Oh, she I went to a certain uh, 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 you know show with a certain Bella Franklin to call my name and all of those things. People told me, and I said I was going to get the opportunity to address issues like this. These are things that Ambazonians should not do. You see, it shows how primitive and you know blockheaded this lady is. You know how rotten and primitive this. Listen, there is a line that nobody crosses, and if you hear something, if you have, if you have, if you have, if you have the the guts, you. You have to take time to listen to what somebody says you listen to that and it is clear that i didn't say that i spoke with her i just called her name in the passing i didn't insult her and then you imagine a woman who is supposed to be respectful and to think that barefoot that is the village of the former moderator and barefoot is the village of the wife of the present moderator you have this kind of people who come from barefoot i mean barefoot people you push to talk to this your mommy girl of a woman i'm so i was so ashamed i was so disappointed because first of all, I didn't have a number. It is not a crime to have a number. I, I, I bring down myself. I take my time to ask for contacts of people in various counties where we can work broad base. We are working for Ambazonia. We are working to be insulting each other. And of course, when you insult me, I leave it. But there are, there are lines that you don't cross. And every tattoo is not disrespectful. I only speak the truth. And this should serve as a warning to all Ambazonian women. If you want, listen. Because that shows that there's only one person that needs to visit the psychiatric hospital. And that is this Mami Gera, because that is an act of primitivity. You can't have a woman who goes this low. A man simply calls your name in the passing for something good. And then you, you do not even bother to listen to it. Because Paul told you yesterday, this is a captain of, of, of gossiping. You simply just go on air. You start producing audios. And I told her in our private talk that I was going to reply. Because it was too low of a woman. I mean... Imagine the good work that the people of Barfoot are doing. You have one savage slave queen that will come on social media to destroy the name of the Barfoot people. No, we will not say that Barfoot will pick these people one by one. We will select granite from beans because this is a bad beans in the Barfoot camp. And, you know, it's, 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 very, it's very, very funny. Somebody says that you should inform somebody for calling her name in the program. Did you, did you, did Eric Tato say that she spoke to Mami Gera? I said, we were trying to get to the people of Bafu through Mami Gera. Those are very normal things. And, you know, it, it just becomes so funny and crazy to see somebody behave like this. For this reason, this platform has awarded this woman the most dishonest woman in the history of Ambazonia. Because to have said something, doing a rejoinder or a disclaimer on what somebody did not say, it makes you low life. And it's a pity that we have very primitive people like this living in America. Because in America, it's based on investigation. I will never go out there to say something about somebody that I'm not investigated. If I do, I'll come back to apologize. I'll still accept apologies if she gives one. That said, I'm done with that primitive bush woman who says that she's from Bakut. I, I imagine what shame will be upon any man who associates herself with this kind of person. I'm done. That is how I operate. On this platform, we are not nonsense and we don't take nonsense from nobody. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm thinking of all my friends from Bakut, uh, Fidelis Ambe, and the rest of the Bafu poor are watching me to tell you poor that I have you in my heart, but we will not condole very low-life people who only wait for an opportunity for something that somebody did not do to begin to talk about. Now, this takes me to the final thing about this talk show, which is, of course, of course, it is the uh, uh, London saga, the oil deal. Now, I want to say this very clearly about this London stuff. This London stuff it is an opportunity for a new dawn in the Ambazonian independence movement. This London saga has given us an opportunity to draw a line, to draw a line between who is who in this movement. And it has also given us the opportunity to test the honesty, the finest honesty of all Ambazonians. It is 
my singular obligation to probably in the most sincerest manner in the sincerest manner to tell you the truth about this london thing and my position what i hold as eric tato and what i want to believe that it will be the noble opinion of most people of this platform i respect you i respect your views that is why when some of you express concern about my title of supreme commander i i without delay without hesitation i really Lived myself of that particular title because the only one thing that's interested is the people of Ambazonia. That's what I stand for, that's what I'm going to die for. At any time when there's a mistake on this platform, Eric Tato will come to apologize, and I only apologize when I must apologize. Back to the London stop. I will be very honest with you that before the 12th of September, this guy from Momo, I will not reveal his name. This guy called me and told me that, Mr. Eric Tato, what is really going on with this comrade Ayaba of a man? Why is Ayaba disturbing this movement? And I told him one thing. You know, before today, before today, when I was talking about comrade Ayaba, most of you who are now my followers and who see the truth in what I say, some people said I was jealous of Ayaba, including some people who have not seen the truth. Ayaba is a good man to his own dimension and a bad man to the general public. I must say it. That is public opinion. You know, the only one thing any leader, like I've told the interim government, on this platform, when I want the AGC people who will be watching to take note about what the definition of objectivity means. I do not know how to lie because I have lied enough in my past and I cannot lie any further. Every human being has lied. And you must take, there's a time in history that you take time to right the wrongs. And this is my own time. I told the AGC people, I supported the 25th date given by the AGC. And I condemned the aspect of the ID only coming to give a contrary date because the AGC gave a date, first day. And let me be clear to you people that on this platform, that particular live show, I proposed based on the fact that I spoke with people on the ground and I told some people of the IG that please forget about contradicting the agency. If you do not want to put that date on the 25th that the agency has put, please even go for the 30th. Because the 30th, I said it here, that it should be the 30th or the 1st. People watch me will testify. Because 30th to the 10th or 1st to the 10th is 10 days. That's enough. It would still disrupt the elections. But you cannot go and give a date on the 20th. It was too far. And some people say, oh no, I said, it was a proposal. Finally, finally, all the leaders have come to that date that this will get on this platform. First, they have announced it, and that is a good date. Any genuine person, normally the AGC date of the 25th was the best, better than the IG, all that long, long grammar that the IG wrote there. The AGC did well. So that is my role, to speak the truth based on the representation and the aspiration of the people. Now, to the London saga. When they called me, this guy called me, he's a guy from Momo, he's a Yaba's own tribes person. He was very angry. And these are big guys in London. Imagine the other guy who wore the Manchester uh, JC, he's a lecturer. You can imagine how people are vexed. Now, I want to, I want to look at, I want us to look up uh, some two words. These are the two words I want us to look at. This is a very important show for me. And I think that the people of Ambazonia should learn, even those who don't want to speak the truth when they, they, they truth. They, I want us to look at um, these two words. Content. You know, the content of something. That is what that thing is made of. The component. Now, there is another word known as now there's intent intent is supposed to be something about intention or purpose the aim the result or determination that's your in, the intent of somebody that's your intention there are two things that are involved here in this london stuff intent and content 
Now, let me be clear with you. In, in my first write-up about this London stuff, I wrote a very significant headline. London Bridge has fallen. That was because that thing took place around London Bridge. I was well informed. I received all discussions between this said guy in London and Comrade Cho Ayaba. And they told me exactly what they were doing. And of course, let me be very clear with you all. This is a moment of reckoning. This is a moment of the truth. And this is the moment where any individual should look inside their heart. Look, you, Bovek Maloba, my good friend, look at your village, Banga Bakundu. You said yesterday that people have been killed, 10 or more, the village was burned down. Look at Mbalangi. Look at Pete Bakundu. Look at those boys who were killed in Bakwe town. Look at the suffering masses that you see Aya Foundation goes to Nigeria to visit. Look at our cities that have been emptied and speak the truth once and for all. You know, there is this word they call hocus pocus. Hocus pocus is a compound word that is hyphenated. H-O-C-U-S hyphen P-O-C-U-S. Hocus pocus. It means when you are trying to divert from the actual thing, then you leave something that like one day we were talking in a WhatsApp group about money that Tapan stole from the Red Dragon. He started saying things that don't exist. I said, listen, come to the point. You see me? You know, I want to tell all of you that you supporters of the AGC, you have disappointed Cho Ayaba. You have disappointed the people of Amazonia. That incident in London was an opportunity for the AGC members to gain respect once and for all. But you all failed. I'm not AGC. I'm not IG. I'm not Ayaba. I'm not Sako. I'm, not, I'm just Eric Tato. Listen to what I've said. That you of the AGC, you had a golden opportunity to forever earn my respect. I was watching. I was looking. But all of you failed because you diverted from you. you, you I, I, that's why I say I was shocked at the hocus pocus on social media. You moved away from the major thing. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what you don't know. It is a shame when you look at a clock or when you are in America or you are in Kenya, you say you are in a, a, a Gabon. That is, that is different. Let me tell you for something. You people disappointed us. All of you AGC followers. Now, I'm on this London issue, that is an opportunity for us to right the wrongs. You see, Comrade Cho Ayaba has said that he's addressing the nation tomorrow. Which nation? As who? Who asked him to address the nation? He should tell us how, why he went to London to sign a deal. One man with a telephone. Let me tell you all something. Let me tell you something that you don't know. You see, London humbled Barista Bala. It was in London that Barista Bala's audio leaked about what he said about Seseko. And the gentleman calmed down himself, and today he has become the most popular and strongest ambassador. Ayabacho must take that position. Let me say this very clearly. Let me be very clear with you. Ayaba says he wants to address Ambazonian tomorrow. I will follow. And after that, I will come like, if there's anything that he says that is not going to be right. Because that is my job. See, look at something. Ayaba says the interim government is self-proclaimed. Who made Ambazonia a country? So you want to, you call it a government self-proclaimed, and you want to address a self-proclaimed nation. Until you say you'll be addressing the nation. Which nation? Ayaba, there is only one man who can address the nation? That is Dr. Sako. Let me tell you, since I started talking against the IG, Dr. Sako, Chris, and they have not called me their enemies, so they are writing things. But my problem is that I'm not, I don't care about those people. I care about them, the government. And now you want to address the nation. A nation that you say, if the government is self proclaimed, that nation is self proclaimed and its people are self proclaimed. Because all of us are self proclaimed. We have not had that independence yet. So, you don't want a government. You say that government is self proclaimed but you want to address a self proclaimed nation declared by this same government who declared Ambazonia independent. It was it not Sisi Kou before he went to jail on the 1st of October. So, how much do you, how much do you care 
about the Pope and Bazouna. Ayabao. Listen, on the 12th of this month, I have the screenshot. All of you are seen by the video, but I have the hard screenshot from this, my friend in London. He told me about the deal that he is going to bring Ayaba here to show the Pope and Bazouna that Ayaba is a low life. And I told him that I will be watching and following. What do you want me to do? If somebody says intelligence to me, I can only give to my friends. And I can give without calling names. Ayaba is not my friend. And it was an even if they said that it was for Sako or Chris Anu, I will allow them to go there and disgrace themselves. Because if Ayaba went there as a team with Sako and the rest, if that man knew that Ayaba was coming there with Sako, Chris Anu, or John Baku, he was, he was coming there with all the leaders, that guy would not have even done that thing, though, that disappeared. But they, they studied and saw that Ayaba was greedy and was going to sign a deal. Listen, no matter how you twist it, nobody has a right. One man does not have the right to go and sign a deal for 10 million people. No man, these AGC people and somebody are like Bo Herbert. It's, it's, a, it's a disgrace that that part at his age he still lies. He comes and writes long, long shit. I mean, Bo Herbert disgraced me yesterday. In fact, the London Bridge fell down and all of you went beneath the river. You, you, you all, you all, you all, you all, you are all drowning. You are all drowning. Let me be clear with you that it is a disgrace. I have had left on an emergency flight. If you look at that chat, the chat he had with that person, they said that he, he wrote that he was going to be in Washington, that they should do this thing first because he has to come to Washington, he has a meeting. That is the Washington that he has come, that he has announced that he's going to address the nation from Washington. As who? That's what I'm asking. And you people of the AGC, you are not honest enough to tell I about the truth. Yes, it was pre-planned. I, listen, I don't know how to lie. That matter was planned. The, the, the content to the, to the brain chart is fake. But to Ayaba, the content was real, according to Ayaba. And this is the most important part, the intent of the person. Ayaba had the intention, which means that if it were a company truly that wanted to sign an oil deal, Ayaba, that's why you see Ayaba and his, uh, and this other, this other gorgeous Mohun, who had become an enemy to all Ambazonians, Tapan, they already changed their title from the Ambazonian uh, uh, governing council, the Ambazonian governing authority, and they were addressing Ayaba president. They were just about the president. I was calling himself president, his excellency, because they knew that they were going to sign an oil deal. And you 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 say that there is no government that has been put in place to represent the Pope Ambazonia. Then you you want to go and sign an oil deal on behalf of Ambazonia. You want to address the nation and address listen, Ayabacho, let me tell you something. Me, I don't have any respect for thieves and scammers. Because those of you of the agency take it from me, Eric Tato. Let me tell you. Yes, I, I concur. Who, any activist who wants to come and say the contrary, disprove that video. And Ayaba is a bandit, and he should be banned from Ambazonian activities. It is a shame that some of you of the AGC would have given us hope to say no. Let me tell you something. Eh? Let me tell you something. Listen very carefully. Me, every time. Let me tell you something. If I had to be in London, you would have seen what would have happened. You would have seen what would have happened. You would have seen what would have happened. It's a big shame that some of you fail to speak the truth, even when it's very obvious. That a man leaves Norway to come and sign a deal. On the yes, that's why he came to London. He, he, he did not come to no diplomatic meeting, no New York Times. He came primarily, maybe he has cornered himself after that to cover up with New York Times. But the major reason why Ayaba came to London was to sign a deal. One man. One man. Jesus Christ. And my friend Bobet Maloba and the rest, they are saying that uh, if somebody, any, until this other, my other friend who behaves like he comes on live show and making like this. This is my friend from Akwa, Lucas Asu. Lucas Asu comes and lies. I wrote here that they attacked the governor's residence. Nobody knew. When I put that story, 17 hours after, Lucas Asu picked it and said that ADF is the one that attacked the governor's office, the governor's residence in uh, up, uh, uh, up station. Lucas Asu. Yeah, he comes and writes that uh, Ayaba has the right to anybody should any ambassador. Yeah, that's what he comes and writes. Somebody who lives in Canada. That's my friend. I just to go to him. That I'm, I'm surprised at his lies. That anybody has the right uh, to go and negotiate all your deals. I mean, are you kidding me? But Herbert is saying the same thing. But Herbert, but Herbert, somebody like Herbert is even a lightweight. It doesn't even matter. He has no use for this struggle. He has no use. He has no use. And they have gone and signed a date that first of all, these leaders have not brought that $45,000. The case, the case, the court case is still there. It's not going to change. We need that money. You people should tell us what you have done with that 45000 
So you poor have people who leave Norway to come and sign contracts, and you come here, you you people, you poor, you start, you make noise. You, you, you. Let me tell you something. You see me? I'll speak the truth here. That Ayaba has the the, the water law of Ayaba is London. The, listen, no matter what Ayaba does, no matter the things that he will come and say, Ayaba now has defined himself literally as a thief. Literally. And this kind of person, Ayaba was, listen, what Ayaba wanted to do, Ayaba wanted to transform Ambazonia into some other kind of territory. Because if he went and signed that deal, he will now get money to give those guys to begin to fight. And then he will now do what? He will become a tyrant. All of us will be dead from Ayaba, not Bia. All of us. So, if for those of you who had the opportunity to, to, to redeem Ayaba's honor, and you failed by trying to defend the very, even my friend, I read Bovet Maloba, I was shocked that I thought that Bovet Maloba is my friend. He's the first activist who visited me in this same house. You go there, you cannot speak the truth. You start writing that if somebody has to go and do a weapon, weapon. You people know the procedure of signing all your deals. All this one thing that Ayaba has done, until some of you, all this thing Ayaba has done has destroyed the reputation, corrode the, has corroded the image of this movement. If you don't know, until you people go, you are, you are saying that you want to go and attack the family of those that guy who wore Manchester T-shirt. Until some people are coming and saying that he, he went low, he's a lecturer, he went very high. I congratulated them personally. And I told him that, listen, if you think that some of you are targeting that boy's family back home, if you try it, we'll go family by family. Let me tell you something. Nonsense. It's just a good Ambazonians who wanted to ensure that the world should see. Imagine a lecturer who came down to that level. It tells you the pains in people's hearts. Ayaba should know that they listen, Ayaba should know very well that there are people who can waste him for no for no reward. For no reward, take it from me. There are people who are ready to do it for no reward. I mean, you people think that this uh, 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 10, 50 fake profiles that people have created on social media. I mean, there is nobody who has ever beaten public opinion. Look at everybody who comments, says this about Ayaba. The person, the negative, negative, negative. Everybody, they are cursing you on people's on people's head. On people said, you understand what I'm trying to say? Siri Nancy, let me tell you, immediately after this live show, I'm going to block you. For the first time, and I'm, I'm announcing it to you officially, that after this live show, I'll block you. You tap on Ivan. I'll block you. You scrape and I'll come and come. After this live show, for the first time, I'll block you because you people went under the, the counter. I'm telling you that, in short, let me block you in this other account so that you see. I have another phone here. I'll block you and you disappear from this live show. Because you people think that, let me, let me block you. I'll block you if I continue this show. Maybe you think you think that we are we are here to joke. There's a there's a limit that you people can go. I think I just have a little problem. I'll block you after the I'll announce it officially. This Ayaba saying that Jennifer Dika is this Ayaba saying that he will address the nation tomorrow. Madness. Criminals to tell us what? To tell us how the OED tensor and London Bridge collapse. And some of you are here, you are you are, you are supporting nonsense. I will block Siri Nancy after this for the first time. That's how I quit. I'm going to block. I'll block Tapan Tirin Nancy and block him now after this. So if you come, if you want to be civil, be civil. If you want to be civil, I'll put you out of this platform. I'll put you out because enough is enough. I think the only because if you you put you put are doing you're doing all these things, Tirin Nancy, this is your last opportunity. After this live show, you'll be blocked. Just trust me. Because you put you put think that uh, this platform is where you come and be doing all that nonsense. Somebody will go go to London to go and say Ambazonia and then you come here, you are not even objective enough, you come here, you are talking nonsense. Who, who, who is doing that? So, that is what happened. So, people, people should not think, people should not think that, you know, these guys just did that thing until you are diverting, that Ambazonians are cooking. Yes, yes. Any way that you can put down an enemy, you can put down the enemy. If that's the way we put down Bia, we put down Bia. Was it the first time all of you, these activists who are making noise here, left, right, center, when they went to uh, 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 London and they embarrassed uh, Bala, what did you people say? You people were happy. You people were happy. On my live show, I still, I still rated Bala high because he showed humility after that. But Ayaba is commented to go and hide. He's saying that he wants to go and address which nation. So you want to go and address a self-proclaimed nation? A nation that was proclaimed by Sisiko who is in jail, whose government you don't recognize? You want to go and address the nation? Are you the one who proclaimed that nation, Ayaba Cho? So which nation do you want to go and address? Tell all that you want to go and address AGC. There are 10, 15 AGC members, or those are 30 soldiers on the ground, not about, not uh, 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 Ambazonians. What are you telling me? What are you telling me? It's a, it's a, big, it's a big disgrace. Man or rest, I have about this, I have about that. 
The man is so fond of himself. He's so, you know, very, very egocentric. I mean, a sadist who is happy when people are dying. And you poke me, you tell me, listen, let me tell you something. I don't make friends with all these criminals. Let me tell you. Evan, Evan Tapan, I will show you poor screenshot. See, you, Nancy. Don't worry, I know what to do, do with you. <clears throat> don't bother, I'm going to put that off. Or him. Off. Off the platform. Completely. Yeah, because enough is enough. I think we have taken we have taken more than enough. Let me just let me just block the, 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 the crazy man. Because you poor you think that me I don't do things behind the scene. I announce before I do. I'm blocking you now. Just trust me, you see what's gonna happen. Make your last comment on this show. Okay, I blocked you, Siri Nancy. I'm sure that you are just going to disappear from the live show. So that's it about you. I'm sure that after this, you have been, she has been, he has been blocked. I blocked you. That's I'm going to be announcing. I have two phones. This one, so I just block you automatically on the show because we have seen that some of you people, yeah, I can take anything by that level that some of you went. I think it's done. So I announced officially the first time that I'm blocking somebody on the show, and I blocked Siri Nancy. They let him go on his own platform and write whatever he wants to write about Eric Tato. We will not have people who are tracking this revolution backward. And now let me let me let me be very clear here. Let me be very clear. Those of you of the AGC, no matter the noise you make, one thing is clear: Ayaba is hated. Listen, for popularity rating, if you like, you put it on social media. Man, put people to vote. Ayaba will not have up to ten votes in Ambazonia. Ayaba cannot have ten votes. Never in the history. Listen, he will never rule Ambazonia. He does not represent Ambazonia. I'm talking as somebody who has taken social opinion down, down the records. Everybody, yeah, part, even some of those ages put they say any and say mango do how. That's just the, the issue. So it is very clear if you don't know, follow public opinion in any all wars of groups everywhere. That's why all the activists who have cited with Ayaba they're automatically enemies to the state. You look, you look somebody, see when Ayaba went to Daddy, let me show you something. When Ayaba went to Daddy. Let me let me let me tell you something. I'll show you pull a screenshot. I'll keep it. When I ever went to Daddy, the first person who criticized Daddy was Tapan. I, I have the, 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 the those his friends that have sent the screenshot to me. This is it. I'll show you pull something. You should see with your eyes. The first person who criticized the Daddy move was Tapan. He he took the back that back that Ayaba. This is it. This is it. You see? This 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 is Tapan. Oh, you see? That's Tapan. Let me show you people something. You see? Tapan took that back. That's Tapan there. Tapan took that back. That's Tapan's name. He took that back. That's Ayaba. The Ayaba back. This is it. And then he drew an arrow showing analyzing that a man who claimed to be a general. He's, he's, uh, he's going there to daddy with, with women because that back was in the car. They made fun of that back, including Tapang, but today he has forgotten. So all these things that are things that we are going to be publishing. This is it. This is it. This is Tapang here. This is it. This is this is Tapang. I'll post it on online so that you post should see. Now, I think we are done with this crazy you know, uh, saga, you know, and all of those. It's always childish when they're telling you for the truth. And uh, Freeman Bantu, you'll be the next person I'm going to block because I don't think that I need followers like you anymore. We have had enough of you have enjoyed a lot of laissez-faire on this platform and you have decided not to be respectful or civil. And I'll just give you a day of grace. And next time you come here, don't compose yourself. I'll put you out off the platform for life. I sent you to prison jail. I've just sent Serena Nancy. I think that is the measure that sometimes in life, sometimes in life, a man has to fight to be a man. That's what Don Williams said in a coward of the county. Everyone considered him the coward of the county. But one day he fought. He told his papa that he has a Kenny Rogers, rather. Kenny Rogers, coward of the county. So sometimes I'm going to be blocking some of you people. I take my time. I block Serena Nancy because this guy has been 
consistent on using this fake profile and trying to destabilize the views on this platform. And we will probably make sure. No, I'm going to post it, my friend from uh, uh, UK, uh, uh, NS. Uh, so we're going to post it. Tapang showed it there. That look at the back. He analyzed it on this thing. I have it there. So now, since a lot of you are watching, I don't want us to waste our time talking about these scammers and these thieves. To me, AGC is personal non grata because if the representative of AGC, I don't know how a group of con men would go to London to sign something. Forget about those guys who did it. They did it. I knew. I knew from the one. They called and told me. I said, yes, try. Let's see if that guy, because it is normal. So I have to know that he's, he, if, if it's something they wanted to take him down, he would have been long gone. But it's just that they don't have that kind of intention. So he should know, want to ensure, and that's how we're going to be putting up those deals, more deals for him to come on tea. He will not be able to come anywhere that Ambazonians will be calling him. Let it be very clear, because he does not represent Ambazonia in any form. So Ayaba has proven grossly to be a thief. Quote me anywhere I can defend myself. Take me to court for defamation. I will tell you that it's not defamation. Because what Ayaba did is the highest degree of thief free. In fact, as a matter of fact, that's an opportunity for this interim government to sue Ayaba. Because that is, I mean, you go to sign the resources of a country, one man with one grand back. Jesus Christ. Let me tell you people something. It is, it is enough. Enough is enough. And we must, we must stay on track in order to put some of these comebacks on their, on their backs. I think we have had enough. So let, let it be very clear. Let it be very clear. You, some of you will come and write all the nonsense they want to write, but the truth has already been spoken. And there is no way you people can change that fact. That Ayaba and you people would have solved this problem if all of you came out and you know you 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 castigated Ayaba on that particular action. All the activists, let me tell you for something. The Ayaba instead the AGC would have been most powerful and respected. But you people came as usual, lack of lack of uh, of, 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 of foresightedness, you lack the intelligence, you lack the, the honesty, you came and you began to, to bring all kind of conspiracy theory. This other criminal in China who who wears a cap like a herbalist, what they even call what that his name. This guy who wears a, a herbalist cap, he behaved like a, 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 a traditional doctor and he lives in, in, in Asia. He came and said that why it was a diplomatic meeting because the, the internet is cheap. Anybody who write anything that diplomatic meeting, which diplomatic what? No, it was not a diplomatic meeting, it was a courting meeting. God not punished devil. So we're going to end here. Uh, that fact is clear that Ayaba disgraced us and he has no capacity to represent Ambazonia anywhere, any anytime again. In fact, I use this platform based on the views and aspirations of these, uh, um, all these people watching to declare Ayaba a personal non grata in Ambazonia. To declare Ayaba the number one thief of this revolution. To declare Ayaba the scumbag of Ambazonia. And to use Bohabet's words, I will declare Ayaba and Bohabet the Nyamfukas for, of the entire revolution from beginning to end. So with that done, I think I've played my part to speak the truth. And if the agency people want to take it, you can go to your wall, pen my name the way you like. Eric Tato does not have time for those kind of nonsense. I'm concentrating on these people who are based as, whose minds are with Ambazonia, not people whose minds are with a, with a group. So with that said, every my friend, Steve, Steve Nebron was attacking me when I said things about the IG, but I didn't bother. I saw all those people trying to run, but my role is my role. I'm going to continuously play it because this is the people's, the original platform of the people, the voice of the Ambazonian people. And that is what we represent. Anything that I say after this, I'm going to read all these comments. Most of them I'll read. And I'll know what to say next show. I'll see if you support what I've said. I'm going to continuously say it. I see pro endorse. If you endorse this message, please type endorse. Everybody just type endorse. If you endorse this message, type endorse. And then from there, I will know exactly if what I've said is right or wrong. It is important. Now, with this said, do not forget, I have pleaded, we have pleaded on this platform that the people of FACO will need our help to reinstate the camp at Ekona. And uh, we will talk with uh, Mola Wanja Wanja. Let, let him, uh, this is a, we'll take this call from Mola Wanja Wanja. Let him uh, tell us uh, exactly the, the situation because he is in the FACO WhatsApp uh, county by county, this thing. And uh, we'll talk with him right away. I'll just try to put a call through to him to see uh, what is up so that we will know uh, exactly 
how what is going on with the, the people of Paco. I hope we get him before we go because um, this is exactly the the uh, the issue. Uh, uh, Trump, how did they call this guy? Trump J.B. Joy, you'll be blocked. I'm going to block you after this live show. So you'll be the second person to be blocked. So after this live show, if I forget, I'll see you next time. I'll still block you. So it should be very clear. I think Mola can call. I'm trying to get to Mola uh, Wonja Wonja. He can call if he wants. We will see uh, what exactly to do. Okay, it's unfortunate that uh, we, we can't get to him. I think he's also trying to call. We would uh, have asked him the situation in Faco. But that notwithstanding, thank you very much. We'll end here. We don't want to make the call very lengthy. Thank you all who, who are watching, who came on live to watch. I think we are very grateful. Uh, stay committed and don't forget the big targets. And know that Ambazonia is free. Get hope and don't mind all these things that some of these leaders or so-called leaders, self-proclaimed leaders do. Always think about Ambazonia because that is the most important thing. As for Ayaba, Ayaba does not exist in my dictionary, but whatever lies it comes to speak to the people of Ambazonia, I will be there 100% to make sure that all those lies are debunked. Thank you so much and God bless you. Have a wonderful day.